and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited because I've just received some wigs. Now, I've placed an order with Natural Image and I've ordered the Josephine wig. Now, I've ordered this wig in four colours. Two are coming, well, I've got two now and two are on the way. So, I have no idea if I'm going to like this wig. I really hope I am because I've ordered it in four colours. But I'm really excited to share it with you. So, I've literally just got the the wigs out of the box. I haven't even looked in the boxes to show them to you. So I'm going to bring them up to show you. I don't even know what colour is what here. So I've got two colours. I'm not going to do them both today because these wigs are so gorgeous. You know, they deserve their own video, but I am going to pick one. And I really don't know what's what here. So we're just going to do, 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 do. We're going to pick this one. So I'm going to see what this one is. So the wig is called Josephine. It's a machine teased wig. There's no lace front and it's a gorgeous wig from Natural Image. I think this cost me, I think it was £120 or something like that. I can't remember offhand how much this was, but it's just a really gorgeous wig. So or I hope he says he looks it on the demo video. So I'm really excited about this. So if you get one of these wigs, this is how it comes to you. Now, this is a real treat for me to actually order a wig that isn't from Godiva Secret Wigs to see how they come. Because as you know, I've only been getting my other wigs from shops. So, and obviously the Amazon wigs, but the high-end wigs, I've only ever got the natural image ones from Selfridges in London. So this is the first time I've ordered a high-end wig from the internet and received it the way it comes. Because remember, I've been receiving them in from a shop in a bag and now I've got a box. So I'm really excited. So it comes in a box. Oh my goodness me. So I've got a box to store this wig in, which is just amazing. So shall we open it up? And if you're wondering what I'm wearing right now, this is my go-to daily wig. This is my Thin Candice wig in Ginger Brown from Godiva Secret Wigs. I love this. And I wear this on my other channel, Guided by Angel. So I've been wearing this during the day. And now I've just received my delivery. It is 20 to 4 here in the UK. And I'm just thinking I'm too excited, you know, to wait. I need to show you this wig. So obviously I haven't opened this box. I haven't sewn wig clips and I haven't done anything with these. We're just going to put her on together. So let's do it then. So I open my box. You can see it's still exactly as it comes. And the website I've ordered this from is through Natural Image UK. And they, the order comes, I think, from Hot Air. So, oh, wow, look at this. It's even got a little kind of cardboard thing around it to keep it safe and, and you know, in transit. Isn't that cool? Look at this colour. Look at this colour. I don't, oh, okay. Let's see what's going on with this then. I don't even know what this colour is. I'm going to find out though now. So I've got my little box, which I'm really excited about. So I haven't got to put it in um, a bag. So this one is Josephine in Chocolate Copper Mist. You know, I'm so excited. This is the colour that I just picked because this is one of my favourite colours. You know, I've already reviewed the Audacious in this colour and um elusive in this color as well so oh it's got bobby pins holding it to let me just undo it's got bobby pins holding it to this piece of cardboard didn't expect that then okay let's i'm not going to want this piece of cardboard anyway so it's okay to kind of do that so you get bobby pin free you get two bobby pins free with this then i always like using bobby pins so that's all good for me now, I can't get it out though. Let me do this. Right, wasn't expecting it to be anything like this. So that's the piece of cardboard. We're just going to chuck that away. We don't need that. And it's got the label and the tag on. So I know I'm not going to be sending it back anyway, no matter what. So I'm going to take off the label. So I haven't come prepared with my scissors, have I? Let me just grab my scissors. Bear with me one second, guys. They're just over here. So one day... I'm going to be organised, but because I was so excited, I was like, oh my goodness me, you know, oh my wig's come, I'm so excited. So first of all, I'm going to cut off this plastic bit here, and I'm going to take out the label. The hair's wrapped around, I'm so excited to try this wig on. 
I just saw it, I thought that looks awesome. I can't wait to try it. Now what I'm gonna do before I even put it on, first of all, wow, the hair feels really nice, it feels silky. I'm gonna get the top of my box and I'm gonna put a label on because I don't wanna forget what this wig is. And I have ordered four of these in different colours, so I don't want to get mixed up with what the colours are, whether I'm wearing them, reviewing them, or whatever I am doing with them. So we're going to put on the wig. It's Josephine. It's Josephine from Natural Image. And the colour is, I think it's Chocolate Copper Mist. Chocolate Copper Mist. Wow. Chocolate copper mist so it's a bit like the ginger brown that i've got on you know it's got a hint of red to it which i want and i did want this in um the chestnut color but unfortunately it's been discontinued which i'm really annoyed about i don't know why they would do that so i've just put on what it is there and that's a good way of doing it. it's a good tip and trick when you're storing your wigs because i'll be storing this one in the box to just put a label on so you know where you are okay let's do it then let's look at the wig first of all together before we put it on so it is an average size cap this one you've got the label at the back and it's only a little tiny label look and you've got velcro strap ad um, adapters so you can make it looser or tighter to fit your own head now i will be sewing wig clips into this wig so i don't need to really mess around with that I'm not going to put this on with a wig grip band or anything today. I'm just going to put it on and see what she looks like and then sew the wig clips in and perhaps come back and show that to you at a later date. But you've got all the nice breathable wefting at the back there, which makes the, the wig light and airy so you can wear it. And I do like the way these natural image wigs feel. And you've got the machine teasing with the breathable wefts at the top as well. And it feels very smooth around the hairline here. You know, this particular little piece of material feels very nice. So I know it's going to feel nice on my head. So let's turn it around. Wow, look at that gorgeous colour. You've got, this is really like a really nice, deep, rich, kind of ready brown. It's gorgeous. So you've got the, the tones through it. You know, it's like a very chocolate rich colour. Look how long it is. This is my type of wig. And that's why I saw it and thought, wow, I've got to have that wick. Now, it has got a natural side parting, which I'm not sure if I'm going to like. I hope I am because, you know, sometimes when they like that, they go in your eyes a little bit. But, you know, there's always a bobby pin. They obviously come with one for a reason. You know, the law of attraction gives you what you need. So maybe I'm going to bobby pin it up. I'm going to see or I may get used to that, or I could see if I could part it elsewhere. I think you can part this anywhere you want, but it seems to be right now in a natural kind of parting, like it wants to do what it wants to do. I don't want to brush this wig through because I don't need to. It's got this gorgeous, luscious curl, and it feels really nice. Like when I'm touching the hair, it feels nice. Like you can tell it's a high-end wig. I mean, these natural image wigs, they're very, you know, realistic for the money. I think £120 for a wig is a really reasonable price. So, you know, it's not going to feel as realistic as maybe this one, but it does feel nice. It feels lovely. It feels realistic to me. And obviously, it's synthetic hair. It's not human hair. The reason I like the synthetic hair is because they're ready to go. You know, I don't want a human hair wig because I don't want to have to style it or take the time doing that. I just want to get a wig out and throw it on and go out and do things and, you know, go about my day. So that's why I'm going for synthetic wigs. That may change in the future, I don't know. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with synthetic wigs. So let's get her on, shall we? Let's get her on. But look at the gorgeous kind of, you know, this chocolate copper tone. It's beautiful. And, you know, looking at it, on camera, it looks a lot brighter than it does when I'm actually looking at the wig, you know, eyes to wig. So, so it's like a really nice, deep, beautiful chocolate colour, like with a hint of red. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to just take off my wig. So I've got two clips in my thin candies. We'll just take her off. And you can see in my thin candies, it's, it's again, like this ready kind of gingery brown. So really nice. And look at my hair growing now. Just popped it all back today. In the morning, you know, when because it's growing back, all I do is when I'm in the shower, if I don't want to wash my hair, because I'm washing it like twice a week, I just 
get water on my hands in the shower and I just go like that. And then I just blast it with the air dryer and it stays all back, which is really good. So let's put this wig on. I'm so excited. I really hope I love it because I've got it in four colours coming. So I'm going to put my thumbs at the back where the label is. I'm going to put the top of the wig there, align the ear tabs, which should be fine on me because these are high-end wigs. And then I'm going to lift it up to my hairline. So it's a very quick process when you put the wig on. So I'm just going to, yeah, it feels very nice. The ear tabs feel very nice as well. Flicking it up. So even though this isn't a lace front, I know it's going to sit very natural on me because this reminds me a little bit of, you know, the, the Candice wigs and, you know, the wigs that I tend to like. So you can see already she's trying to go into style there. So I'm just going to lift it up and I'm going to push it up to my hairline, which is about there. Oh, yes. I'm loving Josephine. Isn't she gorgeous? So even though it's not a lace front wig, it doesn't need to be. It still looks very realistic, as you can see. You're not going to get anybody going up to you that close anyway, looking at it saying, oh, is that a wig? Because look at the gorgeous style. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So yes, you've got that side parting. That's what it seems to be doing. I'm sure you could part it other ways, but I kind of like the wig doing what the wig wants to do. You could easily, if I take it off a minute, if I get my little brush, you know, because it has been traveling, could easily just use my brush to kind of coax it a little bit out of the way, but I don't need to, you know, just give it a little shake. She seems to be ready to me. I don't want to mess with her too much because I love all of this gorgeous curl. You know, so just lift it back up to my hairline. So just broken it up a little bit there. You know, if you want to move it around, let me see if I can before I even do a turn and show you the wig. See if I can part it somewhere else. You know, these wigs are versatile, so I'm sure I could do it. I just love the way it is. Look at the gorgeous curl. Again, this is a lot like my own natural hair because my hair is naturally curly. So when I was having a good naturally curly hair day, which lasts one day, then to go frizzy and, you know, I'd have to put it up. This is what my natural hair would, is like. So there is, you know, you can part it wherever you want then, which I do like. So I may change the parting on this. Let me just take it off again and just see what she wants to do. You know, Josephine, what do you want to do? So I do feel that maybe she was where she wanted to be. I know you can mess around with this and have it different though. So I would perhaps just get a comb and maybe part it in the middle. I feel like I want this parted in the middle. I don't know if it's going to allow me to do that. We'll have a look. But I'm sure it will. I get it right. So let's try it again. But so far I'm loving the wig and I'm happy that I've ordered it in four colours. Like I say, I've got two. I've got another two coming on the way. Because I just thought, oh... I want it in a blonde as well. So I've ordered it. I can't remember where I've ordered it in, to be honest. I think the other one that I've got here is like a, a mixed brownie colour. I think it's got like highlights or low lights in. I'm not sure I'd have to check. But I know I've definitely ordered a blonde one and a creamy one as well. I don't know. I'll have to see. But something to look forward to. So he just, he wants to go like that. So that's the way I'm leaving it. Let me just have a look in the mirror. Yeah, it wants to part there. So I'm just going to let it do its own thing. It doesn't seem like a wig that's actually going to get in my face or annoy me anyway because of the way the style is. But I have to say I am absolutely loving it so far. For the amount of money, what a bargain. You know, this to me, I mean, I know it's a bit more money than an Amazon wig, but this is a bargain wig to me because, you know, I've been paying a lot of money for my wigs to come from Good Iris Secret Wigs to pay for the shipping and the import tax and everything on top of the wig. So to get a wig from, you know, a company with free delivery as well, it's a bit of a bargain for me. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I've got myself a steal of a buyer. So I'm actually really loving it. So yeah. So let's have a look together then, first of all. So this colour is Chocolate Copper Mist, which is really pretty. Like a really rich, you know, reddy brown. And you can see that now in the light. Now I've actually got the wig on much better than when I was holding it up before. So I'm going to do a turn. But this is the side. And this side. I'm so excited. I really want to wear this today. I'm going to sew some wig clips into this and make her wearable. 
isn't she gorgeous but even without wig clips in you know it feels really nice like it feels very snug to my head it feels very comfortable you know it doesn't feel like it's going to come off i mean i know obviously if i start messing with it it's going to come off but it feels like you know if i didn't want to sew wig clips in straight away i could easily go out with it like this or put a wig grip band on but it does feel very nice so let's look at the side look at the gorgeous definition of this curl and the way it falls around the face and the back look at movement there she looks really good with this blue top as well don't you think and the other side there we go gorgeous um i really am liking the wig i really am and you know maybe putting a little clip in you know to perhaps get it out of the way a little bit if you were going somewhere or you were eating you could easily do that and i used to kind of do this with my natural hair a lot you know so it does look very natural even though there's no lace front on this wig and especially you know because i've got i'm a natural dark you know haired woman i've got you know my hair is dark anyway so it, it creates the illusion of it being like your own hair what a pretty wig Oh, I'm liking it. I'm going to do a little short to music in this one, I think, as well. And, you know, on the next video, I'm going to be sharing the next colour, whatever that colour is. But I'm not going to open it. I'm going to do it on camera with you guys. So really happy that this is the first one I've tried. So I really do like this wig. So let me know in the comments what you think about Josephine from Natural Image in Chocolate Copper Mist. Isn't it beautiful? And... You know, I'm trying to think if it reminds me of one of the Godiva's wigs. Because it's a little bit like Alexa, but Alexa has got more of a kind of, I don't know, more of a boundy curl. And obviously that's a monofilament, so it's a bit more expensive. But I really do like it. And because I love Candice so much as well, you know, my Candice wig here, I really feel it's the same kind of feel to it. You know, I love the fact that it's machine teased. I'm not bothered that it's not a lace front. It feels nice to wear. And it's got the curl that I'm used to having long hair. So I feel this is very much like my own natural hair. I feel this is a wig I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. And I'm really liking it. So natural image wigs, 10 out of 10. I'm really loving this wig. Worth every penny. Absolutely steal of a buy. I'm just really loving it. So I love the colour. I'm just, you know, upset that I couldn't get the chestnut one. That would just be amazing. I don't know why they stopped doing, you know, the red colours in some of the wigs. I really don't understand why. I don't perhaps they don't sell as well, I don't know, but that would just be amazing. I'm kind of loving this little bit as well. You know, you could easily do things with this wig. You know, you could put a side pony in it there. You know, you could easily put it up in a claw clip. You could have it up and down. Oh, there's loads you can do with this wig. So I'm really loving it. So Josephine from Natural Image, 10 out of 10 from Liz. And I'm super excited when I'm going to be trying this in a blonde as well. But isn't it a gorgeous wig? So tempted to go out in this today. I am going food shopping a little bit as well. So I might just put a couple of wig clips in it right now and wear it out and about. But I'm absolutely loving it. So hope you've enjoyed this. Sending you so much love, have a great day and I'll see you soon.